Good evening, or afternoon, excuse me. Hello, I'm going early today. I'll wait for some people to hop on. Give me some love. Tell me you're here because I really want to share this with you. It's an amazing recipe. Hi, Kelly. How you doing, girl? You ready for an awesome, um, super easy recipe to make at home? You want me to tell you the ingredients so you can go ahead and cook with me? I know it's kind of early your time, right? I don't know what time is it there. It's like 10.30. It would be breakfast. You could have Taco Tuesday for breakfast. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hey, Steph. Hey, Cindy. Um, so this is a, everyone loves crock pot meals, right? Hey, Sam. Um, super easy. Uh, I think the most time that really takes is prepping the veggies, but that's about it. Um, so you pretty much just prep the veggies. And um, what I'm making is a chicken fajita. Um, in a crock pot and it's absolutely amazing the chicken is actually so tender after you cook it it's absolutely awesome so prepping like I said prepping takes the most time but you just stick it in the crock pot for about four hours and you're good to go and it's absolutely delicious so that's why I'm going ahead and making it now because I plan on having dinner hopefully about 5 30 6 o'clock so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, how to do this because I haven't put it together just yet I did prep my veggies though because I didn't want you to, to bore you on chopping up my stuff so, um, here's my onions. I went ahead and put some onions in there because I didn't want to cry while I was putting those in there. And I have um, green bell peppers and red bell peppers. So you just put everything into your crock pot. You don't have to mix it all together because um, as it cooks, it will actually mix perfectly. And I usually put... Um, three chicken breasts in there because three of us usually eat off of it. And hey Megan, um, so I put three chicken breasts in there and if Leah doesn't, usually Leah doesn't eat everything that we have. So, um, and this actually makes good leftovers as well. Um, so like I said in the previous video, I like to cook in bulk um, because I work crazy hours. So this really gives us healthy meals throughout the entire week. So I don't have, just in case I don't have to, or I can't cook. So you just lay these on top of your veggies. Trying to make it even. This small crock pot. Okay. Wait one second. Okay. Now, um, usually it, uh, I put, well, the recipe that um, someone gave me, it told me to put like a half a cup to a cup of the uh, chicken broth. And I use low sodium because um, it's actually better for you, especially if you're on the keto life like I am. Low sodium is what you need. But I eyeball it. Um, the more, I mean, it doesn't really matter exactly how much of the chicken broth that you put in here. Because um, your, your fajitas really won't be soupy. You can always strain it out as you pick it up and put it onto your tortillas or you can just put it in a bowl. So I got two cans. Because um, I thought one can was going to be enough and it's not. It's not going to be enough. So you put that in on top of your chicken and your veggies. So I'll probably use about a cup, a cup and a half. And use about a half more. And then you get your fajita seasoning. This actually, this is new. This is called the Spice Bazaar. I got it from Lowe's Food. They were out of all the original regular stuff, so we'll give it a try. Seasoning is seasoning, right? So you just put this on top of your chicken, or you can mix it, you can do half on top of your veggies, then put your chicken on, or you can just do all of it on top of your chicken. And it doesn't matter exactly how much of the seasoning you use. I usually, I have two packs, but this looks like a, a lot more than what comes in a usual pack. And if you want to add a little bit of fun to it, because like I've said in a previous video, have fun with your seasoning. Be creative. And obviously, as you all know, actually I'm going to ask you. Who, who, who can tell me what is the main ingredient of the Romano household? 
If you watch my videos all the time, you'll know this. I'm going to give you a second because I know Facebook is delayed on the answers. What's the main ingredient of the Romano household? Can anybody tell me? Anybody, anybody? Megan, you should know this. Kelly, Kelly, you know this. Because I told you you need to try it. Well, yeah, Steph, garlic too. We add garlic to everything, so yeah. But no, that's not it. This is a seasoning. Anybody? It's really good. You want me to give you a hint? I can give you a hint. It makes you want to slap somebody. It's so good. Okay, I'll give you. I'll let you know. Slap your mama. If you like Cajun food or any kind of Cajun seasoning, and it, and it doesn't really, you can put this on anything. You can put this in your Italian food. You can put this in um, Mexican food. You can put this in anything, and it doesn't really taste like Cajun seasoning. It just adds a little kick to it and a lot of flavor. It's absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend that you get this stuff. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Not be disappointed at all. Okay, so anyway, after you add your, your veggies, you put your chicken on top, add your chicken broth, and your seasoning, and you can use any kind of seasoning that you want. Seasoning is a free food, uh, so just have fun with it. Have fun with the flavors. Um, so you just put it on low. Depends on how quick you want this to cook. So I like it to cook really fast, especially, like if I'm going to be at work for a long day, then I'll put it on low for it to cook for about six or seven hours, but I like for it to cook really fast, so I'll put it on high, um, and it'll be ready probably about 5.30 or so. So um, you just put the lid on it, let the cooker do the cooking for you, which is absolutely amazing, and then as soon as, you, um, as, soon as it's done, you just check the tenderness of the chicken, make sure it's done. And you can take it, the chicken out, and this is what I do. I don't chop, I don't cut it into strips. I actually take it out with two forks, and then I just shred it, and I put it back into the crock pot and mix it all up and stir it up. So, um, one good thing that I did find for all of my low carb people, and I never knew that they even made this stuff. I'm actually really excited about it. They make low carb tortillas. As, that, that's like that's awesome. This was like my prize finder. This was my gold today. So each tortilla has really has like four grams of carbs in it per one torti tortilla. So you can have two of these, and really two is the only kind, of, as many as I can have because I really won't be able to eat that much. But now I can have an actual true fajita instead of just eating the meat and the veggies like I planned on tonight um, until I found this so I can have my fajitas tonight. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm so excited. Sarah, I got this at uh, Lowe's Food. Um, and there was this one, and there was another one that uh, I believe had like six or eight carbs in it. Um, so I decided to try this one because the carbs were a lot lower. But I will definitely let you know how they taste. And I really honestly, at this point, I don't care how they taste. I'm just excited I can have a true fajita without just the, with, instead of just having the meats and veggies. So I'll definitely let you know how this is. But, um, so if you want, if you're watching your carbs or anything like that, then definitely try this out. Um, they actually, they do make it. <laughs> I didn't know that until today. They make a low carb tortilla. So awesome. Anyway, um, if you guys like this, if you are willing, wanting to try this recipe, I'm having a hard time talking today. Um, if you're wanting to try this recipe, I will post it later. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. But, and just like any of the other ones that I've, um, I've gone live with you guys with, that this is another one that you don't want to miss. You definitely want to try. So anyway, hope you all are having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I'll try to get this posted as quick as possible. So if you want to try it for Taco Tuesday, you definitely can. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for joining, and I will see you all soon.